Yo, what is going on guys? It is Pierce here bringing guys another video. Now today in this video I'm going to be doing another tutorial for you guys. Now a while ago I made another tutorial like this where it was porting Fortnite models into Blender. And I'm basically going to be doing that video all again because I left out a lot of things that are important and I didn't really explain it that good. So basically guys, this is just going to be a repeat tutorial of that but I'm going to go way more in depth and make sure you guys understand the full thing because I still get a lot of questions about that video. Dude, let's just get straight into it. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go in the description and you want to click the first link. It's going to take you to this uh, website. It's called glider.org. And once you're here, you want to make sure you're in the downloads tab. And you just want to download the UE viewer for Win32 or Linux. You probably don't have Linux. You probably have Windows. So you just go ahead and click the Windows one. Now you can save this anywhere. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to save it into this folder next thing we can go ahead and do is you want to open up the epic games launcher and you want to make sure you have fortnite installed when you're porting models because obviously uh, you have to get into the fortnite game files and how you're going to do that with a fortnite so make sure you have fortnite installed and once you do that we'll get into the next step okay guys so what you want to do is you want to find wherever you download a u model uh where's the folder right here and you just want to do extract files make sure you also have winrar but you want to extract the files click ok and then it's going to have this folder. Now the only things we need here are the U model and SDL2. So you want to click on both of these. Right click. Click copy. And then wherever you have Fortnite installed, you want to go to that folder. Mine's installed on my SSD. So as you can see right here, Fortnite. Uh, Fortnite game content packs. And then once we're in the packs, uh, you want to just scroll all the way down. And as you can see, I already have these files here. But if you don't, all you have to do is right click. And then click paste and then the file should go there okay guys so the next thing we can do is we can actually download the u model auto aes uh this is just make it like it just makes it easier for porting you don't even need this but i just get it and it makes everything a lot easier so once you have it installed you want to find wherever you installed it same thing as we did with the u model thing right click extract files okay and then it's gonna have this folder and from here we only need the u model auto aes you want to right click click copy Go back to the same folder before Fortnite, Fortnite game content packs, right click and then click paste. Again, mine's already here, so we don't need to do that. And what you can do to make this easier is you can just right click this and click pin to taskbar. Okay guys, so after that we can actually go back to Google and also in the description, there's going to be all these different things, uh, all Fortnite shaders and IO import scene. We can download IO import scene first, uh, again, put it wherever you want, I'm going to put it in this folder for now. And then we can do the same thing with the all Fortnite shaders, put it in the same folder. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's all you really need to download. Now, one more thing, obviously, you need to make sure you have Blender. If you don't have Blender by now, go ahead and download it. You can just search up Blender 2.8. Uh, but once you have it open, uh, what you can do is you can just select all these things, right-click and delete them. So if you want to port a Fortnite skin, which I'm going to show in this video, um, all you have to do is go to the description, and you'll see this link to a Google spreadsheet. And once you're on the spreadsheet, this is basically where it's going to show all the different skins. Like as you can see right here, Aerial Assault Trooper, it's going to show like all the directories, uh, like where they would be in new model. So you want to just go through here and uh, find a skin you like. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to do the, uh, we'll do something really easy. Okay guys, so I found a skin I'm going to do, I'm going to be doing the Red Jade skin. Um, you can obviously pick whatever skin you want, but just for this tutorial, I'm just going to do this one because it's pretty easy. Okay guys, so what we can go ahead and do is wherever you have your U model auto AS, you just want to open this and it's going to take you this and right here, you're going to click override game detection, click on this box and select Unreal Engine 4 and then in this box you want to select Unreal Engine 4.24. Uh, at the moment in time, right now, 4.25 doesn't really work for me. If it does work for you, go ahead and use it, but I'm just going to stick with 4.24 and then you just want to click OK. Uh, this is going to load for a second. Then once it's open, uh, for to make it easier, we can just expand this. Uh, it just makes this a lot easier. And this is basically all the Fortnite game files. So you can go ahead and close the engine and Fortnite thing up here. And the main thing we want to get to is game and then characters. Now if you're not porting a skin, uh, if you're porting a backlink, most of those will be in accessories. So you can see port backpacks. Uh, if you want to port something like a like a POI on the map, that would be an environment. I'll make another tutorial showing all the different like folders for different things. But for this tutorial, we're just going to do a character. So we're going to open the characters folder. Then we're going to open player. And the skin I'm choosing is a female skin. It's red jade, obviously. So I'm going to open female. 
medium is where most of the skins will be again right here it will say the name so for me it says where is it f med sushi ninja the med means medium so it'll be medium and then we're gonna do the body first so we can open the bodies and then we want to find the name so the name in here is sushi ninja so we can just scroll down it's in alphabetical order so it's a lot easier and once you find it you just want to open the folder so here it is and you want to click on meshes now before we do anything else uh, down here it's gonna say tools you want to click on this click options and then right here there's these three little dots you want to click on these and basically make a folder called like blender and then so I'll make a f I'll make a folder called blender tutorial open that oh wrong thing uh, where's the folder so I'll open the I'll just go into the party throw folder and then you want to make another folder called PSKs just like that and then you want to click on the folder and then click select folder and basically what that's going to do is every time you port something it's going to go straight to that folder okay guys so now what we want to do is we want to click on meshes and the first one at the top will be the one we want just to make sure you can double click on it and it will open this and as you can see that's the body to get out of this you just click O so you want to click on that and then come down here and click export click OK I'll do that and then right next to meshes there's a drop down or you want to drop this down most skins will have this this is usually if there's like a different hair or mask on it so again we can click O to go back click on that click export okay and now we need the textures so you can go ahead and select all these textures right here click export click okay and that's for the body now we can go back to the uh, the spreadsheet and we can see what the head is so the head for this one is fmed asn starfish head 02 so we can close this and we can scroll all the way back up to where we open the bodies folder and close that and click on heads so the one is called starfish so as you can see right here asn starfish head drop that down click on meshes and then right here it's fmed starfish head 2 so we want to click on that click export click ok and then for the textures it's just the sushi ninja head so we can go to skin and it should be in here if not then I guess it's the normal textures so yeah I guess it's just the normal textures so oh never mind textures sushi ninja textures select all these click export and click ok and now guys we're pretty much done with the U model you can go ahead and close it and we can go into blender okay guys so when we're in blender the first thing we want to make sure we do is we go to edit preferences and then you have to do this if you're porting so it's gonna load for a second and then once we're in here, uh, you can make it bigger. It just makes it a lot easier. You want to go to add-ons. Uh, and then you want to click install. And then go to your Blender tutorial folder. If I could find it. Uh, where is it? Right here. And then this thing we installed before called IO import scene. You want to click on it. And click install add-on from file. And now you want to scroll down. And these will be in like order of what they are. And you want to find where all the import export things are. And you just want to look until you find import export import unreal skeleton mesh psk uh, psa 280 and you want to make sure it's checked and then the bottom left we can click these three lines and click save preferences and we can go ahead and close that okay guys so now what you want to do is you want to go to file in the top left go to import import psk and then go to your folder wherever your psks are minor in a different folder but wherever you saved it they'll be there uh so let me find that and Basically, it's going to be the same thing as the game files. So, you want to go to game, characters, player, female, medium. Uh, we'll do the body first. And then you want to find Sushi Ninja. Meshes. And then just double click on this. And what we can do, you probably don't see anything. Just click on this little bone down here. And on your keyboard, you can t uh, type S. And then 0 0.011. And that'll make it smaller. That will scale it down. Makes it a lot easier. Now, what we can do is we can go make sure you select on the bones so there's gonna be two different things it's gonna be the body and the bones you want to make sure you select on the bones and then the top left you want to click edit mode and then first we can get rid of these three bones up here we don't need those and then this one at the very bottom down here we can get rid of that but yeah guys once you get rid of those bones uh, you go back to object mode click on the body right click and then click shade smooth and now we can get the mask so if we go back to import PSK go to parts uh, double click on that Again, do the same thing, type S0.011, and that's going to bring you here. We can go into edit mode, and then we can get rid of these bones. We don't need those again. And we can also probably get rid of 
all of these bones except for this one right here um, you you'll understand why later it just makes posing a lot easier you don't have to do this obviously but it's just I always do it when I pour stuff okay guys so now we can get the head we can go back to import PSK you can go back to heads uh, find the head for your character mine starfish head click on it click meshes and then double click on the head that we have again s0.011 uh, we can get rid of all of these bones down here and then we can get rid of the unnecessary bones like these ones to the left these ones uh, and then these ones and then we can also get rid of the head bone which will be all the way in the back here by the way when you click on a bone it will say it up in the top left what bone is uh, we're gonna go ahead and delete that one and we go back to object mode right click on this and click shade smooth and make sure you select it on the the mesh part of the head and then you can go to edit mode and you click anywhere so nothing's selected and then down here uh, on this little panel to the right there's gonna be this little circle you wanna click on that and then once you're in this thing you wanna click on the one that says hair select right click and delete and that's gonna get rid of all the hair from the head because as you can tell the mask we have poured it in already has hair so we don't need the hair that's already on before that we can go ahead and delete that and now that's pretty much it guys we're gonna just merge all of these things together so you can click on the body bones then you want to click on the face and then the mask make sure they're all selected by the way you have to hold shift to do that uh, click them all while holding shift and then on your keyboard you want to click Control J and that's gonna bring them all together and then you just want to do the same thing but with the body head and then there and then Control J okay guys now we can pretty much get to texturing we'll do that first before we do anything else with the bones but what you want to do for that is you want to go to shading up here and you want to just zoom in this makes it easier we can drag this in a bit and right here at the bottom I guess we'll texture the the body first so you always want to make sure when you're texturing you're on this little panel again with the circle and it will tell you the different things so you have the face accessory the body the head hair and then the head for now we're gonna do the body so we're gonna click on this and then right here we're gonna click use nodes we can leave this for now but on the left here you'll see this little arrow and you want to drag that out and drag this down and then basically it's going to show you your recent folders you were in now I'm gonna click on this one because this is where the body was uh, and then you want to go back textures and now we can actually before we do this uh, right here where it says principled BSDF you want to click on this right click and delete that and at the top left where it says file you want to go to file append and then you want to find your porting folder and wherever you saved all Fortnite shaders you want to double click you want to click on it you want to click no tree and then fn shader advanced double click that and it will open it now what we can do right here we can click add search and type in fn and it should come up right there you can just drag this here and you want to connect the shader to the surface and basically you can start just dragging these textures in uh, for now I'll just drag them all in you don't need this one this is fx but I'll just drag all the all the textures in for now and then I'll show you where each one goes okay guys so now that they're in you want to find the one that says the D.TGA. This will go into the diffuse. And I'll show you. This is going to make it a lot easier for you. So as you can see right here it says D. And then where I connected to it says diffuse D. And now we can see there's an S texture. And there's a thing called spec map. So you connect the S to the S. So the S texture to the spec map. And you can see there's an N texture. And that will go into the normal map. So if you see what I'm going at here. N to the N. D to the D. S to the S and then the M to the M right there also what you want to make sure you do is for the N and S texture it's gonna say color space right here you want to make sure this is always on non color for the uh, N and S texture every other texture is fine you don't need to do that but just for those two textures you can do that okay guys so that's pretty much it for texturing um, basically every time you texture a different part of the skin it's gonna be the exact same process where you just bring the textures in and you connect them to the different things so I'm gonna go ahead and skip after I texture everything uh, but yeah guys, I'll be back when I'm done that. Okay guys, so I'm done texturing as you can see. Uh, everything's textured, the head, body, and the face accessory. So now guys, you're not actually done yet. So if you can remember before, we delete some bones and we put them all together. But that's not what we're done. So you want to click on the bones and click object mode and then go to edit mode. And you want to click on this bone. It's going to be the neck bone. Now this will make it a lot easier. You could do this. Uh, there's a little like stick figure man right here. Uh, you want to click on that and then go to viewport display and click name 
and then this will show the name for each bone. I don't like to have this because I've been doing this for a long time now, so I usually know what each bone is. But for now, I'll leave that on. So guys, you want to find the neck of one bone, and then there's this little option here. Again, it's like a little bone. You want to click on that. Go to relations, drop it down, and then where it says parent, you want to click on that and type in spine, and then select spino5. Now what we can do is we can go up to the face, and you want to find the one that says head, the head bone. You want to click on that, click on parent, and then type in neck, and you want to select neck 02. And then we can find the face attached bone, uh, click on parent, and then get rid of neck so you can delete, and then type in head, and click that. And then this is one more thing you can do with the bones. Uh, you want to find the eyelids, uh, the left eye lower uh, mid, click on it, click on parent, delete uh, the eye, and then click head, or type in head, click it. Do the same thing for all the eyelids. Uh, oh shit, I split that wrong. But yeah, do the same thing for all the eyelids until you're done. And then that's pretty much it, guys. You are pretty much done porting your first Fortnite model. Uh, there you go. You can go to pose mode. And now you can see if we click on like the spine bone, it's gonna move that around. Uh, you can move the neck around and everything like that. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me on Twitter at PRS3D, PXRES3D. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, next week, expect a tutorial on how to port like back blings and stuff like that. And then also make a tutorial on how to make thumbnails. I made another one like that, but it's pretty outdated and I've learned a lot f since then. So I'll make an update tutorial for you guys if we hit 50 likes in this video. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.